Hey y'all, good morning. We've been studying Ezra at church for the past few weeks. And in my Bible, <clears throat> they have these things that are called hard questions. Okay. This is the study Bible for women and it's the New King James Version. I thought I would read uh, the hard question. My cat just bit me on the arm. <laughs> I thought I would read the hard question that is here. And this is in the book of Ezra. Uh, it's talking about mainly uh, chapters 8, 9, and a little bit into 10. Anyway, the hard question is, are we responsible for confessing another's sin? <clears throat> it says here, Although Ezra himself had not committed any of the sins that he was confessing, he took responsibility for the people as their leader. Today, many have become numb to sin. They are no longer shocked by sin or willing to do anything about it. However, Ezra was humiliated and devastated, trembling before the Lord when he heard what the Israelites were doing. He represented the people to the Lord and he appealed to God's mercy. He says, And now for a little while grace has been shown from the Lord our God to give us a measure of revival in our bondage. For we were slaves. Yet our God did not forsake us in bondage, but he extended mercy to us to revive us, to repair the house of God, to rebuild its ruins, and to give us a wall in Judah and Jerusalem. <clears throat> and so when the people saw Ezra praying, they themselves were then moved to repentance. As Ezra was driven to pray for his people, so too should believers be driven to pray over sins and the sins of others. So when was the last time that you were so moved towards sin that you actually dropped to your knees and began to pray to the Lord? Unfortunately, women sometimes are guilty of gossiping instead of praying for a Christian sister or brother. May we be women of God who react like Ezra for the sins of our nations don't gossip <laughs> and pray for others. Don't talk about them.